everybody makes mistakes. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Artisan Valley. This is a modded series where I can only sell items with the artisan good products attached. And do I need to water that? Don't think I need to water the tea. And obviously we're in spring. We've got a whole bunch of mods. We've got Stardew Valley Expanded, uh, Artisan Good Ones and everything, Automate, whatnot. Ha! Huh, that's perfect timing. And all those fun things. And so we're just going to play, as we always do. So we can sell one of each thing um, just to complete the collections tab because the goal it was it used to be perfection um i don't know if it still will be because uh as you can tell because we've added so many things it does make it a lot more difficult to get that far we need 20 wine oh, 20 wine for Olivia, which we can do today. Fertilizer we needed to give to someone as well. We've got the um, flower mod going, so we can chuck all these flowers in here. It is only making sweet pea, so hopefully some of them turn into something else. Um, I guess strawberries. I know we were turning strawberries into seeds, I just don't know if we need any more. Oh yeah, we're saving one of each thing as well, just because they're new and that's exciting. Oh, hello. So many people. Hello. Okay. Boris, you're being a bully again. popular okay Olivia's house drop off the wine oh cutscene honey I just don't understand why this process is everlasting I'm trying mother there aren't many jobs this far away from the city do you think we'll move back to Zuzu city no, I have no intention of moving back there. I just want to, I want to stay here in Stardew Valley. Well, you better start applying yourself more to finding a job nearby then, Victor. What does Olivia do for work? I'm stepping outside to get some air. I don't, don't understand sometimes why we just walk into people's houses. My apologies, Lion. I lost my composure. Technically, I wouldn't have seen anything. Victor, get, Victor gets defensive whenever I bring up his career. He's very bright, top of his class in school, and he always has his nose buried in some obscure book. I don't know why he hasn't found a job yet. I feel as if he may have gotten too comfortable living at home. I worry for his future. I have business I must attend to you. You may stay and browse the library if you wish, dear. Where do I put the wine? <laughs> this is her cabinet, right? And her cellar. Is that what's through this door? Laundry room, okay. Not the cellar. Oh, there's the steps. I see. I see. I see. I've been in here before. I should remember this. Whoa! That's a decent amount of money. We also need to find a bunch of trash. Why is there a plant on the fire? That doesn't seem safe. I didn't realize where that took me. Where does this one take me? Zuzu Forest! We haven't been there before. Let's go. 
Whoa. Return tickets are free. Sorry, and uh, Philip, I'll get to your birthday eventually, probably, maybe, who knows. I found new things. It looks like there's a something there. Hello? Who's there? Hello? Despite the scary noises, the building does look like it has some potential. You should go back sometime. Building is for sale. Buy it for 250 gold. Um, maybe later. Oh look, another tent. I'm not sure what I'd do with it, so I'm not sure if I want to buy it yet. Hello? Who lives up here? How do I get up there? That's actually pretty neat. You could probably have like a little pe little village of people living in here. I don't like that that minecart kind of has nowhere to go to though. There's obviously a little village of people already living out there. Also growing crops that don't exist in this season. But we'll let it slide. I think I'm going to buy it. Let's do it. You now own this sawmill. The papers will properly process tomorrow. Maybe a construction company can help you fix this place up soon. I own a sawmill. Oh, there is. I see. So there's like the sanctuary that we never went to. So that's like up this way. There's desert here too. I get a little bit of everything here. There's a. There's another farm, hardwood, ginger island, there's everything here. I could just live here. Okay, this is a sanctuary we've never been to, so while we're here, let's do it. I'm assuming that's up this way. The sanctuary. Only David is the person we know here. Oh, I brought something by accident. I love it. I love when I accidentally buy something. That's just fun. Which one is David? This one. Have you met Emerald? She's my roommate. Hopefully you two will get along. Okay. The bathroom doesn't work. So, I think I misunderstood what the sanctuary was. another upstairs it's locked um I thought it was like like a bug like place where like more like a sciencey looking thing not like just a hangout spot there's a caverns oh it might not let me go well, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Ooh. Danger. This cave is extremely dangerous and do not be entered by people. Only the bravest of warriors. Let's do it. Sorry, Philip. Holy show me timbers. He just came out of nowhere. And serpent fragments. What does one do with those? These are down. There's a little thing that you stand in. There's a dinosaur. Whoa, this is cool. Ah, it threw half my stuff in the water. Clark is too worn to read. Prismatic shard! I don't need the ribs. Do not follow the rails. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. 
That's cool. I'll explore more later. I'm sure something cool will come out of that eventually. Look at all these rubies. I didn't know there was that existed. But oh no, I'm not gonna get to Philip, it's almost midnight. <laughs> what a surprise. Philip, I brought your birthday present. Where do you live? He's in he's in he's in the, the thing. He lives in here. Right? Philip, don't go to bed yet. I should have brought a room while I was down there. I think this is his house. Damn it. I had a surprise. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I got a prismatic shard, though. I don't think I'm going to make it home in time. Second floor, bottom left most part, enjoy your stay. So it's the same room every time. Philip, I'll give you your birthday present tomorrow. A day late, surely's fine, right? I didn't go back to the desert though, we we're meant to be doing Skull Cabin runs. But now the desert festival's over. If it's the same room every time, do you think I could put like a chest in there and store stuff? It's Pam's birthday today. Hello, hello Lion, I heard you brought the old silver and the forest head down to my shop in the city and I can help you fix that place up. Bill, I don't know who Bill is. So that's fun. What is this? A tea bag. Ready for a hot cup of water. Well, we'll try that next time. For now, we'll sell it. Um, but, um... Gather bones, we should do that. Pick up trash, empty crab pots. Go talk to Bill. Do that. Fish in some mountains. Granny wants a leek. He wants an aquamarine. He wants void essence and apricot. I don't have apricots, but I have leek and void essence. So we can do those ones. I forgot I had animals. What a nice person I am. Oh, an owl statue. Did that happen overnight? Or was that there before? I guess the good thing about we automated the animals so we don't actually have to. Ta-da! Whoa! Do we have a rabbit? For the first time hearing about it. We must have a rabbit. Otherwise, how else was there a ghoul in there? I can go in there and we'll take these. Ooh, it's gonna be a big money day! I read somewhere, well I didn't read, I actually, I was watching a video and someone said it, that um, animals drop, once they love you, they can drop stuff. Which is why I've been getting random fish from my cat. Ooh! That's hilarious, Olivia. I've had that similar experience with Vincent. Moments like this with Victor are treasures. Abigail used to do that too. Oh, look at them all talking about being mums. Imagine if you'd known this is what parenthood is like. I don't know what being a parent is like. Hi, Lion. Hello, Lion. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Hello, dear. Wonderful to see you. Line. I heard about Artisan Valley Farm on a radio a few days ago. You're making so much progress. Oh yes, you are, Lion. You've helped our little community grow. Vineyards are quite profitable in this region. I heard rumours about how much Sophia makes each quarter. I don't know who cuts in this is. How much is it? Blah blah blah. It's over six figures. Lion, have you considered turning Artisan Valley Farm into a vineyard, like Blue Moon Vineyard? Basically, that's what I am when I can only sell artisan goods. I'm already making wine, wine production isn't the path I'd like to go down. I'm not at the level where I can make large amount of wine yet. 
that'll do. I understand. Take your time there. If you do ever decide to turn you turn your hand into winemaking, let me know. I want to try the first batch. Well, technically, you already have got it. Pierre loves getting shipments of your crops from May Lewis line. He says they rival the quality of his own produce. Do you think because Mayor Lewis gives Pierre my produce, do you think he takes some of the money? I wish Susan sold her crops locally. She ships her product product out of the valley. She once let me purchase one of her fresh melons. It was so delicious. I'm just relieved Pierre never sells Andy's crops in the store. I think they're shipped to low-income villages. It's true, Olivia. My husband and Andy had an argument recently. Pierre would only allow Andy's produce in the store if it was specifically labelled as grown at Fairhaven Farm. Andy didn't like that. So he's trying to sell his stuff for cheap. Which is a good thing. Well, this conversation certainly turned sour. Lion, we're going back to chatting about your parenthood. It was nice seeing you, Lion. They're just going to kick me out. Bye. <laughs> I guess I'll see you. <laughs> Whose cutscene was that? Why did, why did I get that? I'm confused. Oh, and now here's another one. This one is definitely Olivia's for sure. I must say, this event turned out perfectly. It's all thanks to you, dear. The wine and cheese from Artisan Valley Farm is nothing short of perfection. The local wine and cheese is delectable? Tell me, farmer, what's your secret? Um, I don't have one. I increased my friendship with the reception's guests. I sense my friendship with the reception's guests has increased. I also learned how to properly sample wine, increasing how the stamina healed when I drink it. Well, that's cool. I think I got friendship with some people. <laughs> I just had a cutscene with Claire here. Hi, Lion. Oh, what am I doing? I'm well, just thinking on them at the moment. I have a lot on my mind. My mother told me she's disappointed I haven't found a job yet. I came to the park to get out of the house for a while. I can't blame her for feeling that way. I graduated from university a year ago and I'm still living at home. Maybe she thinks I'm just lazy and comfortable living at home forever because we're financially secure, but that's not the case at all. I mean, it's hard to find a job. Over the last year, I've turned down dozens of internships and jobs offers. None of them have appealed to me. I don't want to move out of the village and work myself to death in the city. I want a career where I'm free to be who I am, not who I'm told to become. Fair. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, Lion. You quit your office job because it wasn't true to who you were. You took a leap of faith and took over your grandpa's farm. Just look at how that life has transformed you. I've got a trash can on my head. In a way, I envy you, Lion. <laughs> Working at JoJo was the worst. A career like that sounds dreadful. Having a boss telling you what to do and how to feel. Working that much, that's essentially over half your life that doesn't belong to you. My mother doesn't understand what I'm going through. I'm optimistic I'll figure this out soon enough line yeah i can't really help you i don't really know what you're into apart from reading now that i've gone through all that what was i coming into town to do i'm joking i remember i'm giving a leak to granny evelyn thanks dear this leak would looks delicious george will be happy he loves when i make eggs with leaks for breakfast I'll be baking some cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Hello, Lion. Wanna watch TV with me? Oh, that's cute! Sure, I'll watch TV with you. One more. Come on. We can catch it before 7 when he doesn't exist anymore, please. Let's go. Turn to Cardman. He lives here somewhere. Are you gonna let me inside your building or am I gonna be too late? Surely you don't close.
every time I try to do something, something stops me from doing it. Here's the cardamom guy though. How do I get you to... I found out something about my greenhouse. We missed a whole room in there. So we need to go take a look at that. Because we missed a whole room. Just showing off my sword before I go to bed, you know? Oh. Oh. Hello. Woo! Boy chickens. Mwah. Hello, Leah. Hi, Lion. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together and I'm gonna I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come into the town between three and five if you want to be there. I can do that. Ooh, this is definitely one of the best ideas I've ever come up with. I know you'll be able to appreciate it. Yes, you're reading the ingredients list right. I made a batch for these earlier this week and I've been snacking on them ever since. They're perfectly safe to eat. They've been for me at least Abigail. Amethyst cookies. Dear Lion, Sandy once gave me this recipe for a drink made from flowers. It sounds a little strange, but it's really nice. You should give it a try. Flower soda. And I tried planting these fennel seeds in our garden last year, but I couldn't get Sam and Vincent to eat much of it. Figured you might have better use. That's why I didn't end up planting. Brandy Alexander. Rice pudding. Starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone you're romantically interested, here's a bouquet. Crispy bass. Autumn's bounty. See, in such a town, everyone keeps wondering, please accept this as a thank you price. When do you plant these? Fall. Okay. Guess I can hold on to them till fall. So, I realised that there's a whole other room over here, but we just ran straight up and down, and it's all for fruit trees. We can plant one of every fruit tree inside the greenhouse. Look at that! And we didn't see it last time because we ran straight up and straight down. So there's all this space and this might change because it was meant to be for um, this mod you could get this, this sprinkler you could get that shot straight lines which um, doesn't exist anymore apparently. So the person who made the mod said they're gonna redo the greenhouse layouts so it might change but we can plant one of each tree inside imagine if we could sell everything imagine how much money we'd probably get bones 40 no that's not where they spawn 70 yeah you can tell i don't like the slingshot Alright, where are those skeletons at? Oh no, you guys have to drop two every time. You can't be dropping one. We're gonna be here forever otherwise. Is there a better way to get bones that I don't know about? Well, that probably didn't go very well. I got halfway. I got through it twice. And a secret note. What people like. Fish taco, bean hot pot, pumpkin pie, autumn bounty. Bye Claire. I'll give you a flower? Oh. Ah. Um, probably fishing. Oh more mining because we didn't get enough mining stuff this is my plans for the weekend to answer your question super duper late i want to know if we can actually make tea with the tea bags i do not have a dresser i think you dropped me another fish one day, maybe I'll be making six figures like the look of Olivia. What's her name? Sophia does. Maybe one day. A chump. 
Shane's birthday. The day is in my hands. Will I get more bones by going to scale caverns? Espresso martini? I say muchas gracias for the help. I guess my crab pods aren't enticing to fish. Uh, anyway, stop by our house so I can give you a little something for your time. Now here's what we can do. We're going to take that ring. And maybe that ring. No, just that ring. Um, we can sell these. By, and by sell I mean we can biff them. Although I think people like them as gifts. Oh, uh, just likes. Loves Gunther loves them as a gift. So some of these we can keep for gifts, but we can just put them in our in our um our throwaway. Let's keep the artifacts. And let's get rid of all the swords. Although that one's kind of new. But we can just be like Oop. Happy birthday! You're welcome. Don't eat it all at once. May Lewis, don't mind me, just going into your house while you're not there. Ah, yes, sprinklers and an apple tree. Ooh. Okay, guys, do you remember your lines? Yes. Ready? Action. But we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I, I, uh. Cut! I'm sorry. It's hard to remember my lines when her face is, r is right in front of me like that. Surprise! Oh, hey! Check out my new camera. Jojo Co is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is ten thousand dollars. Hey, I want you to be in the shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll get the scene a little bit more auth 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 authenticity. In my trash can hat, you want me to walk? Okay, sure. Okay, ready? Action. I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. It's just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I have to... I've just got to try a new Georgia, coal, Georgia Blue Coal. It's got three times the sorb... sorb... Sorbitol? Sorbitol? For a thick, sweet blast and it's cheaper than water. But, but, isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me! Have no fear, my dear. The world-class scientist team at Georgia headquarters have determined that the Georgia Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining, so you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue, glug glug? <sighs> that was perfect. Thanks for the help. Clint? Ah! <laughs> he turned blue. Alright, let's get this done. Damn it. I think your proposal to build a new town in the neighbouring mountains is most likely our best course of action. With the new railways being built into our town, there would be a, mark, a, mark, a marked influx of travellers here. Also with possible, possible war looming, I'm worried about what could happen to our town. It's over two centuries old and was built without defence in mind. That being said, some of the folks in town went with me to scope out the area to start construction. I think we've found just the place. There's a nice flat spot with a river going through it leading from the waterfall to the north. I saw something strange up there though, a tortoise. Isn't that just per... 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 I don't know how to say that word. I heard stories of a tortoise being around when Pelican Town was created. I guess he's just as ain't must be an ancestor of his, but I digress. I did want to mention that there would be difficult to pull all the needed construction materials up the mountain. If we have the funding, maybe it's best to have one of those... Something's built. 
gondolas bit. Well, just let me know your thoughts on the matter and if you agree, we can get started naming it right away. P.S. I'm thinking of naming it Ridge Size Villa sounds quaint. Huh. What war happened? I don't know anything about a war. So you're telling me there's more secret notes? Nine more! We can do it! Woohoo! We did it! Okay, we're gonna go ridge side, move the crab pots, because right now they're not collecting trash and we need them to collect trash. And then it'll probably be bedtime and that'll be the end of the episode. By the time we get into town, because it takes forever, we really need coffee. Look at all these people wandering around in the dark. Hey, come on, we need to catch trash, not actual snails. Maybe we put some in the ocean. Hello? I hope no one stands up here because that would be really sad if they do. Do you like cheese? Do you like goat cheese? I just want you to be a nice guy. Can you like be a lad? It's all that cheese. Yeah, that cheese money. Well, that's it. It's another four days. And all our strawberries are ready. Stand in a field of ready strawberries. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it may be for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.